Welcome to another ArcGIS tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to construct TCN polygons using ArcGIS. So for today's tutorial, uh, just to give you a bit of a perspective, I have chosen a catchment in South Africa. And my objective today is, uh, let me just go ahead and turn off this base map. You can see there is a layer called Rainfall Stations over here. So I'm just going to turn that layer on. And my today my objective is actually to create uh, to sort of calculate the contribution which I can get from each of these different rainfall stations to my catchment, which is uh, which is represented by which is represented by this uh, purple color boundary. Now, even if you look at the the proper definition of Thesian polygons, it says that Thesian polygons are generated from a set of uh, sample points such that each polygon defines an area of influence uh, around its sample point. So that's exactly what we are going to do today. Uh, in order to do that, first you need to make sure that you have already imported your your points layer into your ArcMap interface and and the creation of the Thesian polygons is actually going to be purely based on the on the on the spatial distribution of your points. So let's go ahead and go to your search panel and you can search Thesian polygons and over here you can see the under the analysis option there is one uh, tool called create Thesian polygons. All right. Now, as your input features, as I told you, your Thesian polygons are going to get created based on the spatial distribution of your points. So you select your rainfall stations as your input features. And the output feature class, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Alright, now you can see that we successfully created uh, we were able to successfully create the Thesian polygons. Now, if I just move in my catchment above this Thesian uh, polygon layer, and as you can see, actually each of these polygons specify its uh, area of influence. In this case, the area of influence of each of the rainfall stations. So that was uh, quite easy. And the next step, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to clip this Thesian polygons uh, layer from my catchment boundary because I'm not really interested in the areas beyond my catchment boundary so I'm just going to perform a simple uh, clip operation go to clip analysis tool and my input feature is now going to be the newly created TCN polygon layer and I'm going to clip it with the boundary of my catchment click OK. Alright. Now if I turn off these two layers, you can clearly see actually what is the area of influence to my catchment from each of the rainfall stations. If I just go ahead and change the symbology a little bit. Maybe select a different color scheme like this. All right, now that's a much better uh, representation of the of Thesian polygons. Now the next thing what you would normally want to do is actually calculate the Thesian weights. That means uh, if you take this small part of the catchment, what is the weightage that we can actually assign? for this part of the, the catchment which is actually going to get multiplied by the the rainfall contribution from this particular station and if you look at one station inside our catchment for example this station after I know the weightage of this particular uh, green color polygon I'm just going to multiply that weightage by the, the rainfall contribution from this particular station and in a similar manner, I'm just going to do that for all of these individual polygon parts. And after that, if I, if I sum up everything all together with uh, weights assigned to each polygons, 
I'm sort of getting one uh, rainfall value or it, it, could be, it could be either one rainfall value or it could be even a time series of rainfall which takes into account the weights from the Thesian polygons. So that's what my objective is uh, from this tutorial. So in order to do that, first you need to calculate the areas of each of these polygons. Now, if you want to calculate the areas, uh, if I check over here when I move my mouse pointer, you can see that my units are in decimal degrees. Now if I go ahead and check uh, in one of my layers, go to properties and in source, you can see my current coordinate system is actually uh, a geographic coordinate system which is WGS 1984. But I would like all my units to be in meters. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually reproject everything that I have in my current data frame into, uh, into a projected coordinate system. Only then I'm going to calculate the areas. Now, as I told you, this is since this catchment belongs to uh, South Africa, I'm going to use the, the South African uh, Transverse Mercator projection, which is known as uh, Hartebe Stock 94. So, there are actually multiple ways of uh, reprojecting your layers. So, I'm just going to use one of the simplest methods that is actually to change the, the projection system of the main data frame. Just going to search it. And under projected coordinate systems, national grids, South Africa, just going to select uh, this 94LO15. Click apply. Yes. All right. Now, in order to uh, in order to reproject your Thesian polygons layer, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply go to Data and Export Data. And when I'm exporting, I'm just going to select my coordinate system to be the coordinate system of the data frame, which we just change into a projected coordinate system. So I'm just going to specify my saving location. I'm going to name this as TP, stands for Thesian Polygons. Save and press OK. So I'm just going to remove this one. Uh, in a similar manner, I'm also going to reproject my catchment, the river, and the rainfall stations as well. Export data, select the data frame. And this one I'm going to name it as catchment. Actually, I wouldn't really need the river to be projected, but in any case, uh, let's reproject it as well to the data frame. It's going to be river. And finally, the rainfall stations. Alright, now if you just go ahead and go to one of the properties of one of these layers, now you can see that the coordinate system has been changed into a projected coordinate system, which lets us do our work in 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 meters instead of de decimal degrees. So I'm just going to go to the data frame again, go to properties, and over here, I'm just going to change my units into, into meters. Right now you can see that even over here, our units got changed into meters. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the weights for each of these polygons. So let me just go ahead and change the symbology again just to
just for the sake of visualizing it. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and go to the attributes table of this Thesian polygon layer. And now you can see that we have 10 polygons. The field ID starts from 0 and ending in 9. We have 10 different polygons. And we also have one uh, column called shape area. In any case, I'm just going to create a new column called area. Keep this one in double. And over here, by right clicking, I'm just going to go to calculate geometry. And I'm going to calculate all the areas in, let's say, square kilometers. All right, now you can see it shows us the individual areas of each of these polygon parts. But now I'm interested in actually knowing what is the area weightage of each of these polygons. So that I think you might be able to guess by now is equal to the area of each of these polygons divided by the total area. So first I need to know what is the total area of all of these polygons added together. That means to basically my catchment area. So in order to know that you can actually select here and go to statistics and here under the field area you will be able to actually see this descriptive statistics such as the mean standard deviation the minimum and the maximum but what I'm interested right now is this value which is the sum so I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and I'm going to create another column called weight is also of the format double and now I'm going to go to the field calculator change the parser to Python and I'm specifying the weight of each of these uh, polygons to be the area the column which I just created divided by the total area of the catchment. Alright, now you can click OK. Alright, now you can see that the weights got calculated without any issue. Just going to go ahead to the properties and over here you can change actually how many decimal points you would like to like uh, in the attributes table to appear. Just going to keep it simple, just two decimal points. Alright. And something else that we could do is to actually display each of those weights. Go to label features in this layer. And here select the newly created column called weights. With the font size you can play around. And when you click OK, you can actually now see all the weights which corresponds to how much of a contribution each of these rainfall stations would have for this particular catchment. So if you were to calculate let's say a generalized uh, point rainfall you have to multiply each of the rainfall values by this weight and when you sum everything up together you will actually get the sort of the representative rainfall for this particular catchment from all of the the contributing stations. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any further questions, do comment them down below. And as you might know already, we, we produce many interesting uh, GIS tutorials almost every week. So if you would like to stay updated on the new, on cool new techniques on the world of GIS, you actually can uh, subscribe to this channel as well. So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.